Hi, this is Paul Turner with Venify, and in this session of PKI Bootcamp, we're going to talk about the basics of certificate issuance. In a recent video, we actually went through what is a PKI. We talked about a root CA, an issuing CA, uh, root certificates, and all these different pieces can be a little bit confusing, and I found that it just kind of helps in understanding an overall PKI if you understand a little bit about the certificate issuance process. So let's jump into this. Here what we've got is a basic hierarchy. We've got a root CA, an issuing CA, uh, CA1, and then we've got uh, somebody that's going to set up a server, abcd.com. They want to be able to get a certificate for that server. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk through all the way from the process of setting up the root CA all the way through getting a certificate for CA1 and then finally for ABCD. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So it's important to understand that when setting up a root CA, it's actually a quite intricate process. Um, there's something called a ceremony that they go through, and it's very deeply scripted. Uh, everybody knows exactly what they're going to do. Typically, they go into some bunker somewhere, and they have very detailed instructions all the way from checking the system that they're going to be deploying the root CA on to make sure that there are no uh, viruses or malware on it and the like. And as they do this, they, they get through all those steps, and then... Uh, somebody's going to walk up to the keyboard and say, okay, well, I'm going to uh, create a key pair for this root CA. And um, that key pair is a public and private key. You can look at one of my other videos to understand a little bit more about those. But basically, uh, they set up this, this key pair so that that root CA can ultimately sign certificates. And it needs a certificate itself. It actually, in as part of this process, what they do is they create what's called a root certificate. And a root certificate is interesting because the subject and the issuer are the same. Effectively, what the root is doing is issuing a certificate to themselves for their own public key. And they will actually sign this with their own private key, basically just to prove that they have access to that private key. It can be, that signature can be validated with this public key. But if you look at this, there's not really any security in a root certificate itself. I could take and I could create my own key pair, uh, create a certificate that says root CA, root CA, and put whatever validity period I wanted in there. But I would put my public key and I could masquerade um, with other organizations saying, hey, this is uh, the root CA public key or root, root CA uh, root certificate. And so one of the important aspects that we actually discussed in, in the what is a PKI video is the real security around a root certificate is in the process that's used to securely get it to each software vendor that's going to include it in their trust store so that they validate and make sure that it is in fact the proper root certificate so that you're only trusting root certificates that you should be trusting. Now once we have this set up, once we've gone through the process of setting up the root CA and we have a signing key, we've got a root certificate, then we can start the process of setting up CA1. Now this may be done as part of the same ceremony in the same bunker. It may be a completely different organization. So we start this process um, as a different organization. But effectively now uh, at CA1, we're gonna go through a very similar process. There's this very intricate ceremony that takes place. Everybody goes into the room. Uh, there's, you know, the cameras rolling and potentially guards with guns, all of that stuff, right? And then somebody walks up to the keyboard after they've checked out all of the infrastructure, make sure that there's no malware. Somebody walks up and says, okay, we're going to create a key pair. <clears throat> and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a certificate signing request. And so they'll go ahead and put information uh, in about uh, this is CA1. Uh, we want to be able to request a certificate. So please give us a certificate signing request. And they will take this certificate signing request over to the root CA. Again, whether that's in the same room or they have to go to a separate uh, facility to do that uh, is kind of dependent on the, the particular situation. But they'll go ahead, take that certificate signing request, have it validated, and the, the root CA will validate the public key and everything. There's a lot of uh, process that goes into that. And then ultimately they will take and sign that certificate for CA1 with the root signing key. When they do this, there is, in fact, a, a lot of security around this because if somebody can take and validate that signature with this public key, then they know that this is a valid certificate that's been issued by root CA. 
Now what we've done is we've set up, we've got a signing key for CA1, we've got a certificate for CA1, and, and now we've got Bob, he's responsible for abcd.com. He wants to go ahead and get a certificate for this. He might be using Apache, IAS, but whatever he's using, he'll uh, go up to the server and type in the commands or, or uh, issue the commands through a graphical user interface to generate a key pair and a CSR to get a certificate signing request, which they go ahead and get that cert certificate signing request. He, uh, to do that, the administrator, Bob, has to put in the DNS address for that particular server. It will contain the public key as software takes care of wrapping all this to, uh, in a nice little package called a CSR, Certificate Signing Request. He takes that up to the CA, and he will obviously have to prove that he is authorized to request a certificate for this particular domain. Once the CA and the RA validate all of that, then the CA will go ahead and sign that certificate and they use their particular signing key to do that. Now you see that we're starting to get what's called a chain, right, of, of different certificates that all chain from this server certificate up to this root certificate. And in another session, we'll go into the details of how all of this is validated. But now at this point, what we have is a certificate that has been signed by a CA so that abcd.com can do business. and. This could be this root uh, CA, could be a public CA, so this particular uh, server is going to be trusted by browsers around the world, or it could be a private CA, and this server is only going to be trusted within a particular organization. Hopefully we've provided you a little bit of background on how does the process work for issuing certificates and getting signatures across those. Thanks a bunch. Take care. Bye-bye.